All right, everybody, this is Seth playing the new Age of Empires 4 that comes out later this week. Uh, we're first just going to do a little two on two or one on one match versus a computer on the intermediate difficulty. Uh, there is easy, intermediate, and then hard and hardest. So one big change you'll notice here is the way you get sheep. You know, in previous games you would find them and you'd have to manually walk them back to the base camp. In this game, you know, it just follows your scout. Which uh, just makes for like a more natural scouting. You don't have to always be looking around grabbing sheep and walking them back home. Uh, so I really do enjoy that new feature to the game. Another big change that they've made is that uh, you no longer uh, you no longer have to upgrade through the town center. You can see here I don't have any option to upgrade um, to go to the next age here. Uh, the way you do that is through the villagers actually making a land a landmark. And that seems to be the case for most civilizations. I do believe there is one civilization that you go up ages through upgrading things. Uh, but I could be incorrect about that. So you'll notice here if I collect this sheep here. Oh, I can't even. I have to do it with my scout. But see how much it slows down when it's not following the scout? So it's really beneficial to have a, a scout run around to bring your sheep. Otherwise it just takes takes a long time for sheep to come in. So with the Roman Empire, this, this prelit can actually... Um, gives a little boost to all of your villagers that are working on things. So it's very beneficial to continue making prelets and just bringing them here. So I like to just bring a prelate and put her around every every resource that I have. Uh, which then just boosts the economy of So we'll notice here going to the next age requires 400 food and 200 gold. So not a big requirement. It definitely feels a lot quicker than, you know, Age of Empires 2 where you have to, you know, collect 500 food. So needing wood early on is not as big of an issue as it is in prior games. So you can really just kind of throw everything on to gold and food to start, usually. Well, there's another sheep. So there's three ways to win the game. You can capture these sacred sites. You can build a wonder and keep it alive as in previous games. And then the last way you do it is actually by destroying the opponent's landmarks. So it's really, I mean, it makes the games very quick. Um, when they're that way, because you really only have to destroy, you know, three buildings to win a game. So the games can be very quick if you wanted to. It could also take a long time if you wanted to. Yo, 
So this is me going up to the next age. We're just gonna build a military landmark. And you'll notice that as we go up ages, we can still continually create villagers through our town center. Yeah, first stop. Alright, so the AIs actually beat me to the feudal age. Which isn't a big issue. I'd imagine I probably would have a better economy going than him. But we shall see. Dorfman Ray. Okay, so we found their base. Well, this looks like they haven't started farms yet. Not too busy, not not too much going on there. Upgrading these as they come available. But the game looks great. I mean, like uh, the environments, the scenery. Uh, I'm playing on pretty much maximum settings. Uh, if I just go to settings here, graphics. Yeah, it looks like I'm playing on the highest settings that we can, so this game looks really good. Uh, three also look great, but this one just looks really, really good. Another thing you'll notice is as you click play, uh, click villagers, they'll speak in the language of the team that you are, uh, which is pretty neat. It does appear that I have a little bonus here. Uh, you notice know, so how things don't cost as much gold right now. So I've really only played with the English, the French, and the Roman Empire. And so far out of the three, I think I like the Roman Empire the most. I need a prelate down here to increase the gold mining here. Also gonna need to throw up a couple more houses. Das wird gebaut werden. Ja, in Tee. Das wird gebaut werden. Mach es bereit. Komm mit nur. Skonogitan. Reit die zu um Gewerk. Ja, in Tee. Ein Arm-Team. 
das Honey gern. Ich bin bereit. Great fit zum Gewerbe gar nicht. Du bedarfst Base? Another cool feature you can do is if you just hold shift while making farms and click on the middle of your town center, it'll actually add farms all around it. We'll try that. I haven't tried that yet. I wonder if scouts can then kill animals and bring them back to the base camp. I'm gonna try that right now, actually. That'd be an interesting. One. So another thing they added is being able to build some siege right out in the field. Looks like we could build a siege tower to go over walls, or we could build a battering ram uh, to infiltrate towns. So once we get enough wood, I will probably start building battering rams to get into their village. Uh, Alright, so we'll see if we can actually just go and pick up a... Yeah. We'll do it So we should be able to go to the next age we can. Uh, we're gonna need that, so we're gonna take a couple people off gold. And I really like this. Oh, we can't. We don't have enough food. I really like this. You gotta, you gotta choose between a religious landmark or a military landmark. And the Romans military landmark is really, really good. Du bedarfst was? Hey, Arunti? Ja, Inti? Ich werde dies buhen. Bin ich im Bootscafé? Well, a couple more houses. I think I'll start moving this little army over soon once they get enough. Make a couple more archers here. to the next age here. So we're just gonna snag these six here. We're gonna be a, a little bit aggressive here with this. So this is a very vulnerable position because right now if they wanted to win the game they'd have to take out this location, they'd have to take out this location, and lastly they'd have to take out this location. Those are my three landmarks right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this. 
Oh, oh so he can actually pick it up and bring it closer. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay, that's neat. Kind of wasted a deer though, but it doesn't look like it's decaying, so that's interesting. You know, if this doesn't decay, this could be a this could be a very good strategy. Yeah, so that's not decaying, so I'm just gonna kill a couple of these. And I'll go bring these up and I'll just drop them off here. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed. There should be some decaying happening here. But there doesn't appear to be. Alright, so we're gonna move these guys up. We might just make a little push here, see what's up. We got we got some good. I'm gonna build a siege here. They all make it go quicker. It does. Give me an angry and we'll just drop this right in there. We'll wait, we'll wait until those guys are ready to go. So this uh, this upgrade lets me send groups of five out instead of one at a time. So that did not go as planned. Their uh, their archers really did a number on, or their uh, their old cavalry really did a number on those archers. So you can see, they're in the feudal age, I still think. So I only need to take out this landmark here, and as well as that landmark, and I will have won this match. But I just keep pushing these guys all up in here. We might be able to win this match pretty quickly. Oh wow, they got all those already. So I think this is the other landmark yet, yeah, technology here. And a 
looks like they've kind of already given up. This will be a pretty easy win. I do have nothing protecting me right now, though. So. But I think I'm gonna win right here anyhow, yeah. Another mechanic they added is this fire. After you get it down to a certain percentage, I can stop attacking and the wood just burn out. And just like that, we won the game. So it's really it's really easy to win if you're able to get in early and you know take out just the landmarks. They can't, you know, go hide a villager somewhere else in the world and continue fighting. Well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Age of Empires 4 content uh, coming this week.